in the course of the research for this uh, updated uh, version of my Antarctic Encyclopedia, uh, one of the main aspects of it is USAS, which is Byrd's third expedition to Antarctica, 1939 to 41. Now, another facet of this book is to uh, biographize all the people who went to Antarctica before 1939. And um, now, I had a list of the crew members uh, on, on the Bear, which was the uh, one of the two ships that took Bird down for that expedition. And uh, one of the crew members was an Anthony W. Kelchevsky, a leading seaman. And I thought, well, okay, it shouldn't be too hard to find Anthony W. Kelchevsky with a name like that. But it proved not only difficult, but it proved impossible. So I thought, well, what's going on here? So I researched and researched, couldn't find a trace of this guy. And uh, I ran a few leads that I thought might be useful, but nothing. And uh, so about to despair, I, I googled Kelchevsky and Navy, and what came up was a 1943 newspaper clipping from the Schenectady Gazette telling about Anthony W. Kelchevsky and then Wayne in brackets coming home to visit his parents in 1943, and I thought, I oh, changed his name, which is why I couldn't find him. So with renewed vigor... I started to research Anthony Wayne. So I went straight to the Social Security Death Index, of course, and uh, to find out when he died. But nothing. I said, oh, no, I, I, I'd run up against the brick wall again, and I thought, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. And so I went to find a person, put in Anthony W. Wayne, connected, and sure enough, there he was. And I thought, well, that doesn't mean to say he's alive, but I went to the phone book for Schenectady, and there he was with the with a phone number, so I called. Someone answered the phone, and I said, Hi. I said, I'm John Stewart. I said, uh, I'm, I'm looking for Anthony W. Kelchevsky, who was with Admiral Byrd in the Antarctic in 1939 on the Bear. And there was a silence. And I waited. And he said, You got him. <laughs> I said, I can't believe it. Anthony Wayne, I said, You're the last man 